Well, hello there, fellers, and welcome to this here prison simulator. My name is Correctional Officer T. Martin, and don't you forget it. There's not going to be any funny business in this prison. No fighting, no contraband, no nothing. I know all the tricks of the trade, so I'm keeping my eyes on y'all, and we're going to make sure we whip these boys back up into shape and get them ready to go back out into regular old society. What's up, guys, and welcome to uh, a new game here. This is Prison Simulator Demo. It's a new simulator game where you're able to, you know, role play as a correctional officer. This is not something I've ever wanted to do, but I, I figured we could check it out. You know what I mean? See what it's all about. See what life as a CEO is like. So uh, we're just, we're going to hop right into it, dude. I'm kind of excited. Ooh, the Prisoner's Creator. Welcome to the Prisoner's Creator. Here you can choose the appearance of your convicts. On the right, there are options to customize your first and last name, change their voice configuration, you can change their body, face, and skin tone. You can also randomize it, of course. Cool. All right. So you could, I mean, got 16 different prisoners you could have here. You could literally put all of your friends in there, like people you know, or maybe even people you don't like. But I'm, I'm thinking we're just, we're just going to go ahead and hit randomize all there. So we got Peter Walker, Helmut Vakirnes, Mark White, Ivan Martin, Helmut Lee. All the way down the list, you guys can see in there. So I'm going to say that that looks pretty good to me. Let's just go ahead and hit continue. Gangs creator. In the gangs creator, you can choose who joins one of three gangs. You can choose a symbol for each gang. Click on the plus icon. Choose one of the available symbols and are a name for the gang below the icon. You can have prisoners to each gang. Minimum of three, maximum of five per gang. Randomize all. We'll place prisoners between gangs. We'll choose a random icon if you haven't already selected one. So we've got the squirrels, the foxes, and the bears. I think we're going to make this a little bit better. First up, we're going to have the Van Der Linds. Some of you guys might know what that's from. I see this this wolf thing here. This is pretty sick. These are going to be called the White Walkers. And then for a last one, I'm going to say let's go with this and we'll call them like the urchins or something. I'm just, I'm trying to pick the, the cool logos. So we've got that. Then I'm going to hit randomize all. So we're going to have our gang members in there. And unfortunately, my long lost cousin, Ivan Martin, is the only one lone wolfing it. So let's go ahead and continue here. This is so ridiculous. Welcome to the prison simulator demo. The game is currently under development, so its mechanics and general looks may change in the future. You may also experience some bugs. To follow updates, report bugs, join the Discord. Your main task is to carry out routines assigned to you for the day. Check the list of them in the journal. During the day, react to the prisoner's bad behavior, either by talking to them or by using force. And remember to enjoy your free time between your routines. Most of your actions are evaluated by the guards and prisoners, which affects the level of respect. The overall level of respect, which is down the bottom left, is the average of your individual relationship with the prisoners or the guards. And then during our free time, we could play mini games, do side quests, stuff like that. So let's, I mean, let's hop into it. Richard says the warden has a deal. Go to his office as soon as possible. All right, so it looks like this might be Richard. What's up, dude? How you doing? Heard you wanted to talk to me. <laughs> Not mister, call me Richard. All right, Dick. Uh, how are you today? Um, I'm fine, thanks. That's good. After that last mess, these really nice guys caused, I thought you wouldn't show up here anymore. But to the point, the warden's calling you. Do you know where his office is? Not really. Check the map. I gave you that before. I think so. You should have it on M. Or you changed something with your settings. In that case, you have to find it by yourself. But on the other side, I'll take you there. Just follow me. I have to patrol that area anyway. All right, so let me take a look at our map. Whoa. Dude, we've got all kinds of different cell blocks, death row, the morgue, the infirmary. Dude, this is going to be so insane. Okay, so we're we're walking in. I'm just I'm going to I'm going to follow our boy our boy Richard here. Good old Richard Bryant. This is the warden's office. Appreciate it, buddy. Okay. So let's go inside. And I believe we want to talk to Maccabi the Warden. A new one! How good to see you! To be honest, I thought all I'd see from you after the recent events was a printed resigned statement. Some bad stuff must have gone down. But you didn't get up. Give up! That's a big advantage, definitely. After the brawl that this bunch prepared for us, many would throw this job at all the devils. It's good to know that you have the character to work with us. Um... You mean I can count in a race? <laughs> You're kidding! Okay, well, since the humor is important, it still makes you feel good to be here. But as we speak of finances, our plot has suffered enough after the last rebellion. This bunch of misguided people have devastated many rooms, especially the monitoring room. They knocked down the doors and destroyed everything. I hope the insurance will cover it, but unfortunately, we're out of cameras for now. Ooh. 
What about the other parts of the prison? It's been better. Some rooms are still of use, but everything should be back to normal soon. Wait, what's the time? Been talking too much. Listen, you have three responsibilities today. Take care of the prisoners from Block B. Get them out of the bunk and see if there's anything missing. It's not clear if anyone took the opportunity after the recent riots to prepare an escape route. They're going to make trouble, talk to them first, and then use direct coercion if necessary. What else is on the list? And uh, today's delivery day. The packages with supplies for the convicts from their families are arriving. Check every one of them. They may have hidden contraband in the items. Okay, this is kind of cool. I like this. Finally, pick some prisoners to work with in the workshop and make sure they don't go around. Now we need every penny to renovate the prison and buy new equipment. Remember to take your time and relax. Fortunately, our social room is not destroyed. If you want to live it up, the shooting range also survived the recent riots. Thank God. They got into the guns. You can go. We have a lot of things to do. All right. So we've talked to the warden. Looks like we've got to check attendance, free time, parcel checking, free time, and then the workshop. So let's go check attendance here. Open the cells so the prisoners can go out for their morning's attendance check. Remember to use the counter. The prisoners did not show up for the rally, ask them to do so. If this does not help, use coercion. AKA, you know, beat them into submission. So uh, here we go. We're gonna go take a roll call here, I guess. Go ahead and open this up. How you doing, sir? Justin Washington, nice to see ya. Where are we currently? Looks like cell block B's our objective and we are, we are making our way there. Dude, this is... <laughs> Gene Jones, what up, Gene? Chris Rodriguez. Dude, this is so funny. Especially if you put people you knew on there. We should have done like a bunch of YouTubers and streamers names and stuff. Maybe in the full game, if we end up playing it again, we can do that. So this is cell block B. Routine attendance check. Your first ta task is to check the attendance, go to the duty office, use the lever to open the cells. Then choose a clicker, go to each of the prisoners and count them. When a prisoner does not want to go to rally, speak to him and find out why he's not cooperating. React when prisoners are not behaving properly. Use one of the tools of direct coercion. Choose a weapon. All right. So we can grab our clicker here. I've got our clicker, and we're gonna want to uh, we're gonna want to open up all of the cells here. So here we go. We've got a bunch of prisoners we need to check on, and let's just go on around and see what we got. Peter Walker, how you doing? I got you clicked off the list. I can search him. Make sure he's got nothing on him. You got anything in that prison pocket of yours? Anything in that backside? Just want to make sure. Got a second one there. How you doing? Mark White, good to see you. Oh. Ivan Martin is ripped, bro. That's my guy. Helmet Lee, looking pretty good. You always follow a good man, nothing more. Joshua, hope you're having a good day. Ooh, what is this? What is, what is his little handshake there? Sometimes prisoner may have been badly injured due to fighting or knife wounds. In that case, you have to call for help. Use the walkie-talkie, go to the wounded man, call for help. In extreme cases, a wounded prisoner can bleed. If you don't help him on time, he can die. You report a dead prisoner as well as an injured one, but his body is moved to the morgue. Don't let too many people die in a short time. When a star icon appears above the prisoner, it means he just lost consciousness. After a while, he'll get up. Mm. Dude, this is intense. Mm. Jason O'Neill, how you doing? Walter Svensson, oh, wow. looking pretty ripped. Maybe I'll do many things like nothing. <laughs> All right, Sven Jackson, what's going on here? He's feeling a little aggressive. He's a part of the, the squids or the urchins or whatever we had. Why are you oh, in your cell? Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Um, why? Oh, love, love. Hunger strike, he's hungry. Hmm. What do you demand? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll. Things have to improve here. Prisoner or not, even the dump has better conditions than this and probably fewer rats. Now the problem is, is I wouldn't be a good CEO because I would feel bad for people. I said then clean I up will, your will, mess. Will. What about the rats? Uh, tame them. Oh, yeah, but rats spread diseases, plague, rabies, HIV. Rats don't spread HIV, but other oh, convicts will, do. Will. Whatever, I don't want to live in such conditions. Yo, what? Fine, I'll let someone know about the rats. Be a good boy and join the roll call. There's somebody fighting. I, I gotta... Yo! Hey! 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 Calm down! Knock them out. Knock them out. Ugh! Lay down the mother trucking law, baby! You better stand up and stop. You better get back in line. You... That's right. That's what I thought. Y'all better not... Better not try to do none of that nonsense again. Alright, back to our clicker. Whoa, we gotta go around. We already got Walter. Sven has been accounted for. Anthony, do you want to talk to me about what just happened there? Not locked in here with them. They're locked in here with me. 
You think you're some big tough guy, huh? Look at that bald spot. You got a heart bald spot on the back of your head, bro. You ain't that hard, all right? You're here for roll call. Stop messing around. Helmet Shepard. You got something going on? You look quite okay. Maybe you want to get some money, hmm? You look like a crackhead joker, dude. Um, depends what you want. Packages are coming to the prison tomorrow, right? You check what's inside. It's possible to turn a blind eye to one package. There will be a syringe. Let's say I really need everything from this package. I'll reward you, of course. I'm gonna say I'll see what I can do. Take half now and again when the package is in my hands, everything, what I need. Dude, so I'll, 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 I got 25 bucks. But if I don't let it slide tomorrow, obviously he's gonna be really upset with me. I won't make the extra 25 bucks and he's, he's gonna be pissed. Oh, shoot. We got somebody hurt over there. We'll get to him in a minute. Michael Goldberg, he's in here. Do we miss Helmet Shepard? Ah, there you go. I got you, dude. Um, what happened, buddy? I mean, I guess we should probably use the, the walkie-talkie and call in some help here. Somebody was uh, straight up straight up knocked out there. That's kind of unfortunate. We got another guy trying to cause some problems here. I'm going to get our clicker back okay, out. What's going on, Paul Pretzel? How are you feeling? Roll call. I can't go today. Well, why is that? Because I'm scared. Excuse me? Well, I'm scared of Helmet Lee. He threatened me. Then I'm gonna pay. I'd like to stay in the cell today. You could stay in the cell, but you're gonna stay here the whole day. Is that what you want? Deal. Just remember to cross my name off the list. All right, I got you, buddy. And then we've got Christopher F Podolsky over here. Nicely done. Should I should I close the the cells again? Lock them back up? I would assume. All right. So it looks like we've got some mini games we could do here. Looks like we've got a bench, we've got darts, and we've got a shooting range. I'm gonna say let's let's go let's go lift some weights here. Get out a little bit of aggression. I'm a little bit upset. Gotta make sure we're staying in peak physical fitness to to be able to you know keep up with them and stuff. Gotta get our stamina up and whatever else. So we're out here in the yard, dude. This is kind of cool. All right, let me let me put this away. I'm just gonna get my hands out. Who's trying to catch these hands? Jim, you can prove your stats as far as proper equipment was bought. Increase your stamina. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go hit the bench here. Maybe let's work out. Okay, left and right alternatively to fill the bar, release the keys to get a green bar, and then repeat. All right. So we gotta get it green and then let it go to red, and then all the way back down to green and go to red, and that's gonna count as a rep there. Last rep here. Get there, that's what I'm talking about. Gain 20 stamina. Task has been completed. All right, so that's all we had to do. Ooh, we've got, what is this here? What is the game, the, the little controller thing? Ye screw, wanna play? What am I playing? With you? I hey, mean it, think about the bet. Lifting the barbell on time. What are the conditions? So me and my buddies don't think you're gonna squeeze that barbell 15 times in 60 seconds. So what's the bet? Depends on how much you wanna give. Let's bet 50 bucks, easy money, nice change. I can take your money without beating you, ready? Shoot. This might have been a bad idea because I I did just uh, I literally just worked out. Also, like, should I should I be betting the prisoners and taking their money? Like, I mean these these guys need need money for their their commissary and their food and stuff, dude. I don't really want to take his money. <sighs> Come on. The the voices just sound so silly. They're all just mumbling. All right, we need four more in twenty seconds. Three more. Oh, shoot. Be careful, Trev. Three more. Two more. One more. Shouldn't have doubted me, bro. Look at that. He's probably a little bit mad. He's so skinny. <laughs> he's talking about how skinny we are and stuff. But hey, that should give us a little bit of respect, right? Like, I'm sure he's not happy about losing money, but he's got to appreciate the fact that we, you know, had a little bit of, little bit of, you know, muscle behind us. So it looks like we're going to be looking through the mail here. Package searching. During this routine, you have to check the contents of the packages for illegal contraband. Go to the shelf, take a package, and put it on the table. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this up. Put it on this table. Begin searching. Open the lid of the box. Pick up an item for the box. Inspect the item by rotating it. Then open it and check inside. If you find something, check it. Put the checked item away. If you find contraband, confiscate it for destruction in prison or take it for yourself. 
Place checked packages in the second shelf. Don't try to cheat by placing unchecked packages here. All right, so we're gonna open this, this guy up. Looks like we've got a book here. I mean, it just appears to be a book. Yeah, I, I think he's good. All right, uh, let me go ahead and leave the item. Let me take a look at this. Ab Abu Flick Salt. Is he allowed to have that? I'm honestly, oh, that's the syringe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna place it back for now. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look through, oh, he's got syringes all over this thing. Nothing in the chocolate bar. So he's got chocolate drugs and a nice book. Sounds like he's gonna have a good time. You know what? I'm just gonna say let's just, um, let's just go ahead and, and say that one's been checked. <laughs> Your boy is already corrupt and it's day one. All right, let me check this out. Looks like that's just deodorant. Sounds good to me. Oh, we got some sort of a shiv in there. Contraband drugs, $63 value. I'm gonna say, does secure mean like, I think, I'm pretty sure I, I don't know if that meant like secure for myself or like secure for the prison, I, I don't know. Got some like caramel corn here, candies or whatever it is. Check the toothpaste. Looks like we're good. Check this, that hasn't been messed with. Check this. Some heart medication. Nothing there. Check this. Nothing there. Gotta check every little thing, dude. Can never trust these guys. All right, so that looks good to me. We're just gonna go ahead and put this back on the shelf. Is it in my inventory? I secured it. I don't know what securing it means. I'm not a very good CO, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, let's open this up. I'm gonna check this. We got some more like Bibles and stuff. Looks good. Check this, some shampoo. Gotta keep your hair clean. Nothing in there, looks good. Chicken tits in water. All right, nice. Looks pretty good. Last thing. Ah, you got some reefer here, my guy. Um, so I don't know if I should take it or secure it. I clicked take, and then it takes it out. But last time I clicked secure, and it took it out too. Since those guys didn't strike a deal with me, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to make sure that, that, you know, people can maybe potentially, you know, uh, it would suck to be in prison if you need like a little little mood booster at some point, but you gotta cut me in on it. That's the deal, all right? We're gonna keep it fair and even. Should we go over and play some darts? I'm gonna go see what the darts is all about. Then we can do the shooting range for the next one. So we're gonna go over here. You wanna play a game of darts? Play some darts and know how many variants of this game. Which one do you wanna try? I'm gonna say, I honestly don't know about darts. I'm gonna say high score. Good choice, I'll tell you the rules in a minute, but maybe you like to feel competitive spirit. How about a bet? I'm gonna bet 30 bucks. Difficulty be normal, do you agree? Yes. So the, the first the first person to a thousand points wins. Oh shoot. What? So do I, do I wanna aim for the bullseye? It's saying the bullseye is a miss, is that the case? Am I supposed to be like hitting these outside ones here? Ooh, that gave us 118 there. I think we might wanna hit the outside one. I I honestly have no clue. I, I play darts just for fun and I never really know what I'm doing. So I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this and and hope that it eventually works out. But I, I, think, I think we lost our bet. I just quit, dude. We were getting absolutely just clobbered there it was it was not even close i've, I've got to you know brush up on my skills we'll go talk to our guy here oh i was thinking about you i got it all i appreciate it here's the rest of the payment i look forward to a successful cooperation in the near future look at that baby old helmut and i are getting along great and that means i might start getting a little bit more respect with these here prisoners so i think that's a good place to call it we're gonna keep on uh keep on grinding going forward we'll see what happens next obviously we have the workshop we've got to do so far it's been a, a pretty good first day here on the job and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what it has next so this is just a demo i don't think it's going to be very long but uh i guess i guess we'll see what happens next so hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already peace out